Hi guys, my name is Olga and today I'm going to talk about something that is very close to my heart. That is how I lost my eyesight and how I managed to stay positive and happy. I wonder whether you have those moments when you feel like punching a hole in the wall or screaming into your pillow. Well, I certainly do. But in general, I consider myself to be very happy, positive, and I do live an active life. So I would like to share with you my um, secrets uh, and hopefully they will inspire you to do the same. Both of my parents are blind. My sister said it, but I was the lucky one to inherit my mom's eye condition. Till my late teens, I could still see colors, um, people's faces. Um, I could even read a regular print with a magnifying glass. I could get around without cane. In other words, it was a whole lot different life. People who just meet me, they wouldn't even pick up that I was blind for a while. Um, so today, however, because my eyesight due to its nature has uh, deteriorated, I can only distinguish light and darkness and that's about it. When I lost pretty much most of my eyesight, strangely enough, uh, the, uh, something that stressed me the most was the fact that at night I stopped seeing visual images. I could only hear things and no matter what I saw in my dreams, I would wake up as if I had a nightmare. And my daymare was probably uh, that people's faces that I used to see turned into just foggy blobs, which really drove me nuts. I understand now why I felt so awful, because I was going through the process of accepting that I became blind and it's not easy. In fact, this is the first step, the very first step on your way to becoming happier and more active in your life once you lost your eyesight or going through another challenge. So what do I mean by saying that you need to accept your new self? I mean that we should stop looking backwards. We should live in the present. We shouldn't look into our past and compare what life used to be, what um, we used to be. Um, we should just live in the present. And I know it's hard to be blind. I know it's on my own skin. Um, and uh, I just believe that to be a positive blind person is much, much better than to be a miserable one. To realize that, we need to understand that our life is given to us to grow, to develop and to achieve our maximum potential. So, of course, it's not surprising that every single person is going through some challenges. I'm blind. You are in the wheelchair. Someone um, has been uh, in a serious uh, financial hardships. Uh, someone's heart was ripped by infidelity. Everyone struggles in this or that way at this stage or that stage of their life. And once we realize that it's easier to get out of that grief our personal grief and see a bigger picture and the feeling of acceptance comes by itself then and also you are then um, better able to look in the future and set goals and decide what you want to do with your life for me, no matter at what stage of my life, once I um, completely lost my eyesight, the goal number one has always been to be independent. I know for those of you who have just lost um, your favorite job because uh, eyesight loss uh, or had to give up uh, your driver's license, independence sounds like a mockery. But hey, remember, we are not looking backwards. We're living in the present and thinking about our future. 
Uh, today for me, independence means uh, living a life that makes me feel fulfilled. Uh, whereas when I just first started um, working on being independent, it was uh, just learning to walk with my cane and using computer independently. Luckily, in the Western world, it's not a big deal. Um, there is lots of support at professional level. Uh, whereas I come from Ukraine, a developing country, so there people with disabilities have pretty much zero support. So I had to self-teach myself to use cane, to use computer, um, but I knew it was important, so I just pressed through all the challenges. Um, initially, I really hated walking with the cane. Um, I felt it was so embarrassing. I felt really ashamed, but today I consider it to be my magic stick. It gives me freedom. Um, and I also came to understand that actually there is nothing at all to be ashamed of things that help me to be active, whether it's cane or feeling around with my hands or talking funny to someone who is not even there but what i mean is that you shouldn't lock into a shell just because you worry that you will do something wrong um you know like if we are too self-conscious we will be refraining from doing things we love and it's really wrong we should uh, do things the way it suits us, not worry about uh, how people look at us, what they think, as long as we stay active and do things we want to do. For example, I love sushi, that's probably one of my favorite foods, um, but somehow, I don't know why, I just can't learn to use chopsticks. I, I don't know, I just can't. And um, fork doesn't work with sushi for me either uh, so I kind of have to make the decision am I eating sushi in public or I am not well guess what I am using my hands when I uh, eat sushi in public and I do not care this is me how I am and I'm doing things the way it suits me that freedom does not come in an instant I used to be very much self-conscious, not anymore. Um, I believe that self-consciousness is the major hinder on your pathway to becoming happy and active. If you worry all the time what people think about you, you will not do much with your life. You will deprive yourself of lots of joys. For a long time, I had wanted to join a gym, but I was too self-conscious. I was worried that I would bump into people, I would step, uh, um, stomp onto people and embarrass myself. But then I just overcame that fear. I pushed out of that comfort zone and I did join a gym. And now my gym is my second home. And I go there not only to exercise, but to socialize as well. I've made lots of friends there. It's awesome. Just think about what you'd like to do. Don't worry about your limitations, your challenges. It's all in our head. They don't actually exist. I don't talk about me flying a plane, of course, even though I'm with you know some effort, it could be a possibility as well. But just you know, push out of that comfort zone. Just do it today. And the sooner you do it, the better it will be. More often you do it, the easier it will become for you. I do encourage you to start doing what you want today. It's very, very important to switch from a complainer into a cheerful and grateful person. Count your blessings. No matter what limitations we have, we can still enjoy life to the fullest. Um, I'll give you an example. So ages ago, my sister and I 
um, back when I was living in Ukraine, went to a Turkish resort. It was a five-star resort on the shore of the Mediterranean Sea. 24-7, all you can eat, all you can drink, everything was included. There was 24-7 entertainment for any age, any taste provided. And guess what? Instead of enjoying life, I was crying my eyes out in the middle of the, of the gorgeous beach because I couldn't participate at the beach volleyball. How silly is that? You know, instead, I should have just sat on the beach chair with a glass of virgin mojita and enjoyed life the way I could. However, we need to understand that independence and being active is a gradual process and it's okay to accept help sometimes um, you know like sometimes we may think oh people helping me in such simple and basic things I'm nothing I'm not worth you know much well look it doesn't diminish us it absolutely doesn't diminish us it's okay to accept help sometimes um, when you go through eyesight loss it's okay to get medical help help a uh, look it's a huge thing to go through i at some point did have to go on um, antidepressants but that's a topic for another video i'm definitely going to talk about it because i'm quite passionate about that um, stigma attached to antidepressants i really want to fight that issue about um, 14 years ago when I was 20 and just um, learning to bake I remember I was making a cake for a party and instead of putting um, sugar into the batter I poured in even without measuring it you know I'm Ukrainian I don't need a recipe I poured in white rice um, I didn't even check what I did I just mixed it up with a spoon and baked my cake and served it at the party. Oh my goodness, how humiliated I was. I was questioning my worth. I was feeling like nothing. Hey, things happen. Today, I would just have a good laugh about it. Seriously, you know, it's absolutely disproportional sometimes how we react to things. Things happen to sighted, to blind people, to all, everyone, any kind of people. So that was an example from ages ago, whereas uh, just um, a month ago, so uh, my husband and I had a good laugh because I complained to him uh, that uh, my deodorant was stinky and didn't quite work properly. So I showed uh, the bottle to him and he was like, all right, now I understand you are using insect repellent. That was hilarious. I didn't feel, I didn't question myself. I just had a good laugh at it. I choose to laugh at my blindness. I choose to enjoy life. I choose to be happy. And with all of my heart, I hope that you can do the same. Please take care. I'll see you soon again.